Hello everybody and welcome to my 74 VBA 2010 tutorial. And this tutorial is going to cover off how to go through multiple records returned by a select statement. Uh, so let's get started. Let's just write ourselves uh, SQL string. Uh, you'll notice that I've um, added in a few more records into the database. Uh, I've also renamed this one to have a space in between. That's just because I want to show you how you do it if you have a space in the field name. So SQL str equals, and then our normal select statement. And we want to select user ID and username. So user ID has a capital, and then username. Uh, because it has a space in the middle of it, we just need to enclose it in square brackets. And then all that allows us to do is just have a space in the middle of our field name. But it, if you leave the square brackets out, it's going to error because it's not going to like that. Uh, and then from, and then our users table. Uh, and then we... We should probably put a dim SQL str string because it's a string. Uh, and then we want to dim our record set. So dim rs as object, dim rs as, oh, not dim, set rs equals create object a d a d b dot record set and then we want to call connect database rs dot open sql str and then our database connection uh, and then we just want to do things with this so the first thing i'm going to do is go if and then rs dot record count is greater than zero. Then, and what this is going to do is just going to test if any records are found, because if no records are found, then our code is going to bug. Um, because when we refer try and reference the array, it's not going to find an array to reference. So let's put in an else and then end if, and then an else. I'm just going to put um, message box, no records found. And um, that's just a way of preempting an error that might happen because there aren't any records in your, in your, um, record set. Then we want to use a for loop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for I equals one, two, and then I'm RS dot record count uh, and because rs dot record count gives us how many um how many records that are in that record set uh it's just going to mean that we go through all of the records um but what we need to do is after at the end of each loop we're going to want to move on to the next record or the next array of user ID and username. So what we put is rs dot move next. And that's just going to move it onto the next record. So then let's put this on our worksheet. So uh, let's do with this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot cells and then we want the row to be i and then the column to be one dot value and in fact we want to get rid of that because we're just in our with at the moment and with and we put dot cells and we've already got it in here dot cells dot value equals and then rs and we want the first one to be the user id so zero and then copy that 
and paste the next one in. And we want that to be one, and we want it to go in column two. And so that is going to give us a loop that's going to go through all of the records uh, and then uh, keep moving on to the next one and write them out onto the sheet as it goes. Uh, and then at the end, we just want to go rs.close set rs equals nothing and then call close database. And so let's press play on this and um, look at our sheet and you notice that it's brought them all through and um, put them out onto our sheet. Uh, and you, you can do it, it will do it for as many records as it comes through. So if we go back into our database and add more and more in, so let's add uh, Tina and uh, Tina Turnpipe. Uh, and then come back into here, run our code, uh, and you notice it's brought Tina Turnpipe through as well. So that's just how you loop through multiple records. Um, and that is going to be it for this tutorial. And the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can insert a new record into uh, a database table. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.